I'm just going to describe what I can see behind me. We've got these two limestone beds. So the first one is maybe about 30 centimetres thick. Then we've got some shale in between. And then we've got another slightly thinner limestone, about 20 centimetres. So you can see that double bed coming down and then suddenly it stops. It's truncated by a very clear structure that we can a plane in the rocks which is coming sort of out towards us. Then if I come over here I can see this distinct double package of rocks again. So those two limestone beds separated by a shale in the middle. So I've described what I see. Beds break then what appears to be the same bed over there. Now, what is my interpretation? Well, when we have a very obvious break like this, the clearest um, explanation is that we've got a fault. So we've got a plane of um, a planar break here where we've had some movement. And what is great here is we can follow the beds across that fault to see how much movement has happened. So let's go and have a ta take a closer look at that. Now come down right into the, uh, to look at this plane, which I'm interpreting is a fault because it's clearly off offset these marker beds. Um, when I get up close and personal down here, we can see some veins. So I can see that the rocks in between are less coherent than the, um, the obvious limestone bed that I'm kneeling on. So this is maybe not the best example of a fault rock, but considering this offset, I can clearly see that it is a fault. And we'll look at some other examples which are uh, more clearly fault rocks in this surface. What I'm going to do is look at the overall orientation of this structure, which we can see is running across the beach here. So I'm just going to um, use my compass just to have a look at what the general strike this orient of this uh, structure is. It's striking 0 to 5, so that's sort of north, northeast, south, southwest. And it's the dip, it's pretty much vertical. If you when I when I look along, but sort of slightly uneven surface here, but I would say, yeah, it's dipping about 82 degrees. So we've got a north, northeast, south, southwest, pretty much vertical structure. And what we'll do now is look down from above to think about what the sense of motion on that structure is. Okay, so I paced the amount of displacement that I have from the distinctive beds over here to where they stop over here. And it was about five to six-ish metres. So we've got five, roughly five metres of displacement on this north, northeast, south, southwest trending fault. As we've got this um, displacement, which is causing a horizontal offset, we could call this a strike slip fault. And if I follow this part of the bed, we can see it stops at the fault and then it continues over here. So the part that I've stood on has been displaced in this direction. Or if I was looking at it this way, this has moved to my left hand side. So we can call this a sinistral fault because it's got a left lateral sense of motion on it and it's about five metres of left lateral displacement.